Okay, so in this video we're going to be solving simultaneous equations again using the elimination method again. Uh, so this is part two of the elimination method. Uh, now remember how the elimination method worked. Uh, if you look at this, we've got two equations, x minus 5y equals negative 17 and 2x plus 3y equals 5. Now remember that you can either add or subtract one equation from the other with the hope of eliminating either x or y. Now if we look at this, if I add these together, I'm going to get x plus 2x, which is 3x, and then negative 5y plus 3y, which will give me negative 2y, uh, and then the constants. That's not going to el eliminate x or y. Now if I subtract one from the other, x minus 2x, that's going to give me negative x, negative 5y minus 3y, that's going to give me negative 8y. Now again, that's not going to eliminate anything. That, that's no good to me either. I'll have x's and I'll have y's. Now, just remember to label your equations. Now, what we need to do is multiply an entire equation by something that will mean that in the next step will allow us to either add or subtract them uh, so that one eliminates. So looking at this, if I was to take the entirety of equation number 1 and multiply it by 2, equation number 1 would then be 2x minus 10y equals negative 34. So if I multiply that whole thing by 2, 2x minus 10y equals negative 34. Once that's done, I'd have 2x sitting over a 2x, I can subtract them, and that'll eliminate some stuff for me. So let's do that now. Uh, multiply, make sure you talk about what you're doing, equation 1 by 2. Okay, so when I multiply equation 1 by 2, I get 2x minus 10y equals negative 34. So that's still equation 1. Now remember, I've multiplied everything by 2, so it hasn't changed anything. I multiplied the left-hand side by 2, I multiplied the right-hand side by 2, so there's no big change here, there's no big problem. We haven't broken any rules. Uh, leave equation number 2 exactly as it was. 2x plus 3y equals 5. And now I can go to work here. I can subtract the equations from each other. 2x minus 2x, that's going to be 0x, that's going to get rid of the x's. Negative 10y minus positive 3y, that's negative 10y minus 3y, that's negative 13y. And then negative 3y minus 5, that's going to give me negative 39. Uh, that finishes off now. Negative 13y equals negative 39. I'll divide both sides by negative 13. That's going to be y equals negative 39 over negative 13. It's going to give me a y value of 3. Now again, that's not the solution. We need to know what the x is to go with that. So we take y equals 3 and sub it into one of these equations. Now look at the equations before you start. Uh, this one has a negatives in it, which might cause you some problems. However, this one has a 2x and a 3y, which means I'm going to have to do some extra work here. I'm confident with my work with negatives, so I'm going to sub y equals 3 into equation number 1. X, oh, make sure you declare what you're doing. Sub um, y equals 3 into equation 1. So, equation 1 is x minus 5 times y, and we're subbing in y equals 3 into that equals negative 17. So x minus 5 times 3, that's negative 15, uh, equals negative 17. Now if I move the negative 15 over here, it's going to be negative 17 plus 15, the negative changes. x is left over. x is equal to negative 2. Now, don't forget, you need to finish by talking about what the solution is. The answer or the solution, the point that goes into both this equation and this equation is negative 2 for x, y equals 3. 
Okay, that's solving simultaneous equations using the elimination method, uh, where you need to multiply one of the equations to uh, get them to eliminate.